Greetings, boys and girls, girls and boys, all those good things. Um, Joe here doing another uh, plugin tutorial. This one is the Kits plugin. This was another one requested by a uh, subscriber. Whoa. So, um, pretty cool plugin here. Pretty much you can make kits, which are like inventories that people can spawn in. You can give permissions for specific kits. You can make it so when they click a sign, they get the kit. You can make it so there's a delay between uh, the times they can get the um, kit. All this cool stuff. So, um, oh, let's see. There's a lot to it, though. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first command uh, is slash kits, which shows you the available kits, which, um, oh, I guess there's a kit. Slash and then, uh, but, well, I guess we'll go ahead and get our next one, um, slash kit, and then the kit name will give you the kit that you named, obviously, and then slash kit, then the kit name, then the player name will spawn the that kit for that player. So let's go ahead and do basic, because it looks like it's here. Okay, so that's the default, I guess. Cool. Um, yeah. So, anyway... Um, so yeah, slash kits gives you a list of kits. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and create some kits. So, let's, uh, what should we put in here? Let's put, oh, roses, definitely. Let's put some roses. Oh, uh, let's put an enchanting table. Let's put a creeper head. Let's put some lava, a beacon, and some pretty music. Okay, looks good. So you get nine inventory slots for your kit. That's all you get. You can't fill up this. So, um, yeah. Uh, so if I go ahead and slash create, and then the kit name, or excuse me, why did I do that? Slash kit create, and then the kit name, which in this case, you can do whatever, you can make it random. So I'm going to go ahead and name it random, because why not? So, um, oh. I thought it did what your inventory is, but it gives you this. Okay, that's even cooler. So I'm just going to put this in. Um, kit random has been created. So it's really simple, as you can see. So if I go ahead and do slash kits again, you'll see it gives me two basic and random. So if I do slash kit random, actually, what will it do if I have cactus? Let's see. Slash kit random. Got to spell it, right? Uh, does it put the cactus? No. Okay. So it kind of takes away your inventory. So you got to be careful about that. I'm not sure if it does that in survival or not. But uh, yeah, you can play around with that. So anyway, as you see, it definitely worked. Whoa, get out of my face, bro. Sorry about the lag today, guys. My computer's really slow today. And as usual, it's slow when I'm recording. Anyway, so um, our next command is going to be slash kit edit. And then the kit name. So we'll do random. And here you can just change it up. Alright. And we can have slash kit remove. And then um, the kit name. So random. So now if we go slash kit kits, you'll see it's not there anymore. And then uh, finally for our last command, we have slash kits reload. Which just reloads the config and stuff. So yeah, that's all the commands. Um... Now I'm going to take you, I'm going to go to the desktop, actually no I'm not, I'm just going to grab it and bring it right over here. Okay, so here's our plugins folder, and um, uh, we're just going to go into the kits folder, and uh, we have two folders here, so um, let's go into the config first, this is where uh, the delay, come on text edit, computer's so slow right now, I should, actually I'm just going to go ahead and disconnect, and uh, yeah. Okay, so this is the only thing that uh, is in here is the delay. So this is um, because, uh, what am I trying to say? I'm, I'm looking at this. So if you don't want people to just be able to get the same kit and put it in a chest and get the kit and put it in a chest, you can go ahead and set a delay. So I'm not sure. Oh, okay, they're handled. Never mind. 
Okay, so it's in seconds. So if you wanted two minutes in between each time, which obviously you'd want longer, probably feels like a starter kit, um, 120, and then you just save that, and, uh, yeah, that's all you gotta do for that. Um, pretty simple. Okay, so, uh, save that and get rid of it. Uh, now we can go to the kits.yml, and this will just show us dish stuff. So, that's not the way I would personally edit the, uh, kits. I would do it in-game. But yeah, I mean, if you want to, you can do it like that. Uh, okay, so now, I don't usually show you guys permissions, but I'm just gonna, I'll just do it real quick. Um, da -da 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 -da. I guess I'll just go ahead and go in here, and, um, I'll do it in groups. So, uh, you guys, so, the, per this has some, uh, Simple permissions here, okay. So this is builder is what I have is default. I don't actually use default. So if I want to add, let's see, um, okay. So I'll go ahead and put. Uh, actually, I'm not going to do it in groups. Never mind. Sorry about this. I'm gonna do it in users. So we'll just edit Snow Leo here. Okay? Because he's cool. So, uh, the first one is kits.spawn and then the kit name. So, since the only one we have is basic, we'll put basic. And you guys wouldn't do this in the users, you do it in the groups, but whatever. Um, the next one is uh, kits, and you would put. Uh, you would put this in the admin group if you use group uh, manager, which I do. It's definitely the best. Kits dot spawn dot others, and then the kit name. But uh, you don't have to have that. So you can also. That's also true for the kit dot spawn. Kits dot spawn. You don't have to have the kit name. That's optional. So now this Snow Leo can get his own kits and give kits to other people. Okay. So uh kits.admin is the next one and it uh, pretty much lets you create, edit, remove, and reload kits. And then this one is one that you would also want to have for admins. It's kits.bypass delay. Pretty much it means they don't have to have that thing we talked about. Whoa, what the heck? Okay, when I saved that, that popped up with another folder. What the heck are you doing? No, 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 no. Okay, anyway. I don't know what that's doing. So, uh, yeah. So this means that people don't have to wait the two minutes that we set earlier. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. So make sure to save that and go ahead and quit out. And that's all we got to do in there. Let's go back onto the server. Come on. So I'm going to go ahead and create another kit real quick just to kind of show you this without using basic every time. Uh, slash I sign one slash I. Rose. Okay, so let's quickly go slash kit create uh, rose. Let's just name it rose. And put seven roses plus that one gets eight. Okay, cool. So uh, kit rose has been created. So now we're just going to stick down a sign and in brackets putting kit on the first line. And the second one, put the uh, kit name. This is going to test right here for me. I don't know this. If it uh, uses the capitals or not. Okay, so you do have to have the right capitals and stuff. Kit and rows. Okay, there we go. Boom. It works. Um, so yeah, that uses, to use a sign you have to have the same permission that you do to spawn it in. Whoa, lag. Okay. So, what the hell? Oh, that's a soccer stadium, okay. So yeah, guys, that's all of this plugin. I covered, I believe, every single thing. Um, if you need any more help, leave it in the comments. Uh, as usual, make sure to read the description. Please like, comment, and possibly even subscribe. Um, and tell me what we need to do next. Tell us what we need to do next, because if we ever get a request from a subscriber, we do that plugin. Like, this one was a request from that subscriber. The two arena plugins were too. Um, so yeah, we really want you guys to have some 
input here. So uh, this uh, has been Joe of the Hambros signing out.